What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want all of your fire Dodger takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Who deserves the most blame for this losing skit? Is it the cold bats? Is it the bullpen? Is it Dave Roberts? Is it injuries? Is it the farmer John Curse? Let me know down below in the comment section. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So how about those World Series favorites? The Dodgers lose again last night by a score of 9-2. to two. They're 9-4 in one-run games this year. They've lost six extra innings games, but that wasn't the case last night. They got ran off the field by the Angels. Julio Urias didn't have it. The Dodgers couldn't capitalize with runners in scoring position once again last night. One for 11 on the night, three for 36 in their last four. They're hitting 211 with runners in scoring position over the last 18 games. And after the game, Dave Roberts was asked, about the Dodgers' inability to come through with runners in scoring position. Here's what he had to say. I think uh, it's I think it's under the category one of we just need to be better. Uh, I still know our players are, are, are very good and talented, um, but it's about going up there and making productive outs, getting hits when you need to get them, and we just have we just need to get better. Uh, so. I wouldn't say concerned. I just think that it's something that we understand that we need to get better at. So if you want to look at the Michelada half full from last night, the one positive was that Mookie Betts had a good game. He goes two for four, had a home run and a double, and a walk, reached base three times. They need him to get going if this offense is going to take off. He can jumpstart this offense if he starts hitting. We saw the impact he had last year. And honestly, Mookie Betts is the least of my worries. He's looked uncomfortable at the plate over the last few weeks. Is he dealing with a back issue? That's possible. But Mookie Betts is going to come around. I have no doubts about that. But the bottom line right now is this team looks flat. They look lifeless. They need more guys that can hit. They need more guys that can pitch. If only we knew someone that was available that could do both at an elite level, I think it might be time to bring back our own Shohei Otani, Russell Martin. Russell Martin. He was an all-star, wasn't he? Yeah, wound up in the Mexican League. Had some problems with his knees. We had him two years ago. We did. Four years ago, then. Now, look, I'm hoping we're at the rock bottom stage of this funk because you know this team is going to play better baseball. They're not going to lose 14 of their next 18 games. They're going to get healthy at some point. They should expect to see Bellinger back, Zach McKinstry. A.J. Pollock suffered a grade one hamstring injury yesterday trying to make a play on a ball in the outfield. But this team is going to play better. It's just how bad of a funk is this and how does it stack up with some of the other losing streaks in Dodgers history? Right now, they've lost four straight, but here are the worst losing streaks in Dodgers history. Back in 1943 from July 28th to August 8th the Dodgers lost 10 games back in Brooklyn. Then in June of 1992 from June 10th to June 21st the Dodgers lost 10 games. Then in 2017 we all remember this one very well. The Dodgers lost 16 of 17 games. They lost 11 straight games. That team would go on to win 104 games and make a World Series appearance and if it wasn't for the asterisks they would have won that year. Now in September of 1925 from September 13th to September 25th that month, they lost 12 games. Then in Brooklyn in 1937, that club lost 14 games from September 16th to September 30th. And then the big one was the 16-game losing streak in 1944. From June 28th to July 16th, that team finished 63-91. and Now, you might be wondering, what is the longest losing streak a team has gone on and still managed to win the World Series that same season? Well, back in 2006, the St. Louis Cardinals, they lost eight games. They won the World Series. The 1990 Cincinnati Reds, they also lost eight games and won the World Series. And then the longest one in Major League Baseball history was the 1953 New York Yankees. They went on a nine-game skid and still managed to win the Fall Classic. So you can get in funks in this sport and still win the game's ultimate prize. Now, one thing I think is important to point out is that the Dodgers aren't the only team that's going through it right now 
with the sticks. They're not the only cold offense right now in Major League Baseball because we're looking at a historic low when it comes to offensive production. The league-wide batting average right now is currently sitting at 234. That's an all-time low. The current strikeout rate is 24.3%. If that holds, they're going to shatter the record for a 14th consecutive season. Right now, the batting average on balls in play is at 284. That's the lowest it's been in over 30 years. So this is a problem throughout all of Major League Baseball. It's not just about the Los Angeles Dodgers. So one of the big reasons that the Dodgers are losing right now has to do with the league and the league struggling to just try to adjust to elite pitching. You see Velo going up. You're seeing terrible umpiring. And hitters have to find a way to adjust. They have to find a way to manufacture offense. And just look last night. The Angels, they found a way to score nine runs. So this offense is capable of getting it together. And I know they will. Now, I do get this sense that the players in the clubhouse are starting to get frustrated. But I do think they're staying the course. I think they realize this team has so much talent. They're going to find a way to break through at some point. I just hope that it's sooner than later. And I'm confident that it will be. And after last night's loss, Will Smith talked about how the Dodgers clubhouse is dealing with that frustration. Losing is always frustrating, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not it's not fun, but, you know, guys are keeping their heads up. Um, you know, we're, we're sticking to our process, and, you know, wins will come. And, uh, you know, it's, it's too good a team to, you know, keep losing. And we all know that we're all too confident of the group to, you know, to keep this, keep what we've been doing the last two weeks going. And, uh, you know, things will turn around for us. And we, you know, we all know that. But it's all sticking the process and uh, working to, you know, get some wins going. So look, this team has faced adversity in the past. This is the same team that defied the odds and came back down three games to one to the Braves in the NLCS. So I have no doubt that this team has the character to break through this. And it's not just the players that are frustrated. Dodgers president of baseball operations, Andrew Friedman, he talked to the LA Times about how he's dealing with this current rough stretch that the Dodgers are on. It's funny. I thought there was a chance that winning a World Series would help give you perspective for games that you lose in April, but it has not. It's just kind of an imperfect storm. I think the offensive slump that a number of guys are going through is part of the game and to be expected over the course of the season. I think it's really rare for five or six guys to be going through it at the same time. That, coupled with the number of injuries we've had that have been so concentrated has contributed to it as well. We'll be on the upswing soon, but obviously this stretch has not been fun. Each day I wake up thinking that today is going to be the day we break out of it, but really, it's not about any one day. It's about doing it consistently consistently night in and night out and that's what we have to get back to now I've heard a lot of noise out there about Dave Roberts and that's usually always the case when the team's not playing well he's public enemy number one he's the punching bag that fans immediately go to well in his career as the Dodgers skipper he has a 6-12 winning percentage he's won six division titles three World Series appearances one World Series championship a franchise record 106 wins in 2019 104 wins in 2017 he won the 2016 manager of the year and finished in the top five five out of his six years as as the Dodgers manage. Now, how much of this falls on the manager? It definitely falls on the manager. And one thing that he knows how to do is take the heat. Dave Roberts knows what it's like to manage in a media market like Los Angeles with a franchise like the Dodgers. You don't find that around the league very often. This guy is still a top 10 manager right now. I know he makes bad decisions at times. You saw what he did in the 2019 NLDS, bringing out Kershaw, not going to Caleric to face Soto. Yes, there's identifiable managerial miscues that he's made and yes he's got more talent and depth than anyone in major league baseball but he gets the results three world series appearances in the last four years and he ended the 32 year drought the grass isn't always greener and so many teams would be lining up to hire dave roberts if the dodgers were to let him go so i'm not even close to even entertaining the idea of replacing dave roberts now the dodgers don't get back on track this year let's say they miss the playoffs and then the following season they do as well then you can put them on the hot seat and replace them but I'm telling you, the Dodgers, they're not even thinking about that at the moment. And since that's the reality, I'm not going to put very much thought into it at this point. But let me know down below in the comments, who deserves the most blame for the Dodgers losing ways at the moment? Is it the Dodgers offense? Is it the bullpen? Is it injuries? Is it Dave Roberts? Is it the Farmer John curse? Let me know down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you want to 
to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all the latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to gearup.la. For the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.